Good morning, everybody. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it's very, very early in the morning. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of getting ready for the day. But today is a day that I've been absolutely dreading. <laughs> a lot has been happening over the past couple of days. I wish I had somewhere to like put you guys down where you were propped up. Mm. It's not the best, but it kind of works, I guess. I um, A lot has been happening over the past couple of days, and I'm going to talk about everything while I get ready here or I finish getting ready here. So uh, if you've been following my vlogs over the past maybe month or so, maybe even longer, I've been talking about getting a root canal done. Um, I went to see the dentist, I got a referral, I got an x-ray, all that fun stuff. Now, I had ended up calling yesterday to get a price on a root canal um, and it was gonna be kind of expensive. <laughs> it was, even with my insurance, you know, obviously it doesn't cover all of it. So I was just like, oh, do I really wanna pay that to save this back tooth? So I just kept kind of going over in my head, like, do I want to save it? Do I want to save it? Not really. I really don't want to save it. <laughs> it's, again, um, the tooth, if I still had my wisdom tooth, it would be the one right next to it on my bottom jaw. I didn't really care. Like, no, I wouldn't see it when I smiled. Like, it's just, it's just, to me, less brushing, <laughs> which is an awful way to look at it. But that's just me. Um, I try to avoid anything medical at all costs. So I ended up calling the root canal people, getting a price with my insurance and everything. And I had gone to work that day. Now, this was yesterday. I was in excruciating pain. I mean, the most pain that I've been in with this tooth by far. And that's what like pushed me to call. So I went to work that morning. I was still in a ton of pain, but I was using clove oil. I was using um, hydro hydrogen peroxide rinses, salt water rinses, ice, heat, everything I could to make the pain kind of go away. And it's been like tolerable since then. Um, this morning, I'm a little bit sore. Like the pain is still definitely there in my jaw. But the problem is, is now the pain is shooting up to my ear as well. So I'm just like overall really uncomfortable in my face. <laughs> I went to work that day and I was explaining, I was talking about my coworker about the price that it was going to cost me. And they're like, well, do, do you want to save it? Do you want to get a root canal or an extraction? Because an extraction is going to cost you a lot less. And I told them, I'm like, honestly, I don't really care about losing this tooth. I just want it gone. So they gave me a referral um, to a, not a referral, but they, they recommended me to a dentist. So I called the dentist, asked them the difference between what an extraction versus a root canal would cost for them. And it was like significantly different. So I'm like, well... The option is clear to me, like to you know, save my family some money, I'm just gonna have this thing pulled. So I end up setting up an appointment with this dentist for an extraction. TJ gets out of work early because I was gonna be on a local anesthetic, so I needed you know, help to get around and pick up Ella and all that stuff. So I leave work early, I lost hours at work. He leaves work to help me out and we get to the dentist. We have to wait about an hour Granted, I got there like 20 minutes late, but I did call them and I'm like, I'm so sorry, we're on our way. Like, we got lost. Um, I've never been there before, you know, and it's kind of a busy city. So we get there finally. The doctor takes us in and they're, they're basically just talking to us. And I didn't really like the place. I didn't really feel comfortable even first going in. Um, I just... It was just weird. And then um, when I was brought into the room where they do the extraction, I was talking to the nurse and I had brought a medical paper because I don't know if you guys know, but I'm allergic to certain types of anesthesia. Um, I had surgery when I was a baby and I had prolonged muscle re relaxation. Like I didn't wake up for like three days. So I was in the ICU and everything. So whenever I need to have general anesthesia, I'm supposed to present that letter from Harvard. Um, so they basically, the assistant took the letter to the doctor who was gonna actually perform the extraction. And long story short, he basically told me that they weren't prepared that if I was having a reaction to the anesthesia to like wake me up. <laughs> so they referred me to they said, I need to go to an oral surgeon. <laughs> so, like, 
<laughs> damn it, I've gone through this entire process. I had my tooth pulled. I was so upset because I thought I was gonna have the problem taken care of right then and there. I'd gone through this entire process of getting my husband home, losing hours at work, like I was not happy. <laughs> this angle is just terrible, I apologize. But, um, so basically, so then I ended up calling my, the, that the people who did the, well, I ended up calling who, they then referred me to to an oral surgeon and they actually had the option to be put to sleep with anesthesia which i would much prefer to be honest with you but it was also going to be a hundred dollars more than the root canal just for an extraction so i'm like well at this point i should just save the freaking tooth right so <laughs> this has just been my my couple of days so today i still have an appointment set up with the original root canal people that was going to cost me quite a bit but not as much as an oral surgeon extraction my only concern well besides the whole root canal is that I'm gonna present them with the letter as well. And because I told them that I'm allergic to a certain type of anesthesia, I'm afraid that they're also not gonna be prepared to put me on anesthetic in case I have prolonged muscle relaxation again. Um, now the whole thing is like, even when I was at the original dentist ready to get my tooth pulled, um, I kept telling them, I only wanna do what's safe for my child. I am pregnant. <laughs> and i'm allergic to anesthesia so like what is what is the safest route is it is it extraction or is it a root canal and they told me that a root canal would be much safer so at the end of the day i want to do what's safest for this unborn child um and which is going to lead to having a root canal done Yes, I'm nervous, obviously, I, <laughs> but I need to get it done and everybody's been trying to reassure me like everything is fine, everything is, you know, we'll, we'll be all good, it's easy, it, it's uh, everything that I've read, like the, the process itself shouldn't take more than an hour, I just really wish that there was an option just to like bonk me over the head and knock me <laughs> Knock, knock me out for a couple hours while they do this because I just I psych myself up so much like for everything like even giving blood I was like oh that wasn't bad like when we were done and stuff a couple months ago but like it, it's the process of like going to the doctor I was trying to find my lash glue <laughs> of like going to the doctor of like sitting there and waiting and just like knowing that you're gonna get like I, I it's just it, it's worse in a horror movie. <laughs> it's so scary. So, um, you know, all night I've been, after yesterday, you know, nothing ended up happen, happening with my tooth. I've just made a bunch of calls and I had an appointment scheduled for today. And all night I've been tossing and turning, trying to figure out, should I cancel this root canal appointment or should I just go through with it? And um, I ended up maybe 20 minutes ago going up to TJ, who happens to have today off. And I went up to TJ and I th said, you know, I, I, I need your opinion. Like, you're my husband. I, I want your input. I said, should I just go through with this root canal today? Um, so, we, you know, we both mutually agreed that that was probably the best thing to do. So um, I don't know why I'm putting on false lashes in that case. <laughs> but I am because I'm trying to make it look like I have my stuff together. But I'm very nervous. And um so I'll, I'll have a root canal later today at 11. So that means I need to, it's 6.41 in the morning right now. So I need to finish getting ready, get my daughter ready and out to school. And then we have to drop off TJ's car at an auto body shop to get fixed. And from there, we need to fly up to New Hampshire to my OBGYN. Oh, excuse me. We need to fly up to my OBGYN and get a letter saying that it's okay for me to have a root canal done and then from there we'll head back into massachusetts and get my root canal so i'm just so nervous <laughs> it's so funny because like as a kid everybody's like take care of your teeth take care of your teeth take care of your teeth and like you don't you don't you take your oral health for granted until stuff like this happens and now all of a sudden i'm flossing after every meal <laughs> I'm like brushing my teeth at least twice, at least twice a day. Um, it's just, oh my gosh. But the good thing, I think I had this whole thing. A, you know, I'll be relieved of pain pretty soon in a couple hours. I'm really, I'm 
very much looking forward to that i'm very tired of being in pain but the other thing is that i'm like pretty much completely quitting soda i know that soda isn't the number one culprit for the reason that my tooth is the way it is but i've drunk soda i've drank soda my entire life and i know how bad it is for you um i just never really had a reason to stop like it was kind of like an addiction like i loved the sugar i loved the caffeine like everything about it i really love like don't get me wrong i miss it but it's definitely not worth my oral health and again like soda is definitely not the only culprit like it's just my sweet tooth in general as well that doesn't help but this has helped me eliminate soda completely out of my home um and it also like also at work i think that was the biggest part because at work we would just have like a fountain machine so like i could get as much literally as much as i, <laughs> I wanted and now i'm there five days a week so it's like as much as i wanted five days a week but then i go home and it's there too so i'm trying to look at the positive side of this as well like it's again the safest thing um safest option for me for my baby right now i mean the other option would be just to wait until my pregnancy is over in four months but um i also have the absence tooth so i'm also afraid of the infection spreading into my jawbone and then like even further like it can go like oral health can be really 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 dangerous so um, if it's between like taking a minor risk and having an infection completely cleared from my body without like spreading um, or just, you know, waiting it out and having it potentially spread. Like, I, th I feel like I'm making the right decision here. I, you guys might have a different opinion, but I, I feel like as the mom, I feel like I'm making the right decision here. So <sighs> that doesn't mean that I'm not scared, though. <laughs> I'm in the doctor's office, I can't feel this side of my face. Oh my god. This lip, this lip is completely numb. This is getting numb. Right here is numb. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> I can't even like open my mouth all the way. But the wor I think the worst part is over. What am I wearing? What is this? What is this? I don't know. <laughs> TJ's in the car too. <laughs> you can't really see him though. I love the McDonald's bag in the background. <laughs> um, I'm still a little bit sore or numb. Uh, we're outside of Ella's school waiting to pick her up, but I still can't feel this part of my lip at all. And it's still, I mean, feeling is definitely coming back. I need to take ibuprofen pretty soon, but I got a little goodie bag. <laughs> Let me just tell you, root canals are not fun at all but i got ooh, i got a pink toothbrush cute and then so basically this is like what to expect as it's not uncommon for a tooth to be uncomfortable following a root canal treatment although the nerve tissue inside the tooth has been eliminated during the procedure the remaining nerve fibers in the surrounding bone and ligament space are usually still inflamed which is the cause of most operative pain any sort of pain that I deal with now would not be as worse as what I dealt with a couple days ago. The tooth will be sensitive to biting and pressure and you may notice more achiness and or a throbbing sensation. They basically told me that I can eat and drink whatever I want just to avoid like chewing on this side, which I have been because just it's been really painful. Um, I can brush and floss as normal. Um, I'm literally just waiting until my face isn't so numb to call my dentist for the crown. Um, but they said to get that done within the next couple of weeks. He just passed out. Um, <laughs> so the only thing they didn't want to like put me on antibiotics. They didn't feel like they needed to unless I noticed like visible swelling in my face. So I'll definitely look out for that. I also got some oh, toothpaste, enamel health toothpaste. This is probably what I need to be using because I use Sensodyne right now, and then I was using like Colgate whitening. But I think I need enamel health. And then, ooh, ooh, I got a chapstick. I'm actually really excited about that because my lips are super dry. And then I got a pen, which I'm keeping in my car. So it definitely wasn't fun, but um, it was like a crazy experience. I wish I was able to vlog like during. You might hear a snoring. 
<laughs> I wish I was able to vlog during the actual procedure, but like I kept my eyes closed the entire time because I was like so afraid to see the instruments they were using. But TJ said that there was a lot of pus and a lot of <laughs> a lot of blood and it was just crazy. I don't know. The only thing that I really felt was like the first pinch of the anesthetic and the second pinch of anesthetic I felt. And then there was like one time it's crazy to put on chapstick when you can't feel your lips. <laughs> uh, there was one time that <laughs> I was, um, they were drilling my tooth and I got like a sharp pain and I'm like, oh, <laughs> so they stopped immediately. Um, and then I think they just kept like applying the anesthetic like within my tooth because I felt a couple pinches in there too, but I can't believe you fell asleep on me. Hello. I'm hearing you. <laughs> well, you're snoring. Can you hear that? I'm just breathing loud. <laughs> I'm just breathing. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely wasn't fun. I'm not like... I don't ever want to do that again. Um, my biggest fear right now is like the filling possibly falling out. I don't know if that's a thing, but like the filling falling out before I can get my crown or my tooth breaking or something. And then like the crown part isn't the big deal. Like I did the hardest part. Um, I'm nervous about the numbness wearing off how that's gonna feel um because we're picking up ella and we have dodgeball in, in an hour and then we have um i have to go to work and then i have to be at work the next two days too like i've worked six days this week although yesterday was a little weird um because i was supposed to get my tooth actually pulled yesterday but i went to this place tj and i weren't very comfortable with the place but it was going to be a lot cheaper than the root canal we went there talked to the doctor and I told him that I was allergic to certain anesthesias and they were not prepared to handle that like in case there was an allergic reaction to the anesthesia anesthesia they were going to use so they ended up giving me a reference to like a specialist I called the specialist and it was going to cost more than the root canal itself I'm like well if I can just save my tooth and not spend so as much then so be it so yesterday was a little weird I left work early Kidding. Almost everywhere you said, I'm just gonna <laughs> slowly lose it. Yeah, Ori, we need to get outside in just a second, honey bun. We got time. Not really. Mm. Anyways. <laughs> so there's that. I finally got the root canal done um, and out of the way said so now I can pay attention to other things in my life which is really nice to finally have this taken care of obviously I don't know like what the immediate like how I feel right now with not having to deal with like um, temperature sensitivity or like just the general pain that I was dealing with I just bit my tongue um, so it'll be nice like once I'm actually healed to not have to deal with any of that PSA guys, brush your freaking teeth and don't drink tons of soda and don't drink ton, eat tons of candy because it will catch up to you even if you don't think it will like I did. <laughs> Alright, I need to go pick up my daughter.